Have you been wondering why you can't sit to move? Because your hair doesn't look good. I mean, I can help you, but if you don't come to me, if you don't work this with you, then I'm sorry, I can't help you. And you can't sit with me if your hair doesn't look good. the weave that I use all through for this hairstyle then um, I have a wig cap I would usually use black for this but I couldn't find black anywhere so I had to test it for nude which I didn't really like at the end of the day but yeah I still made it work tissue paper you guys will definitely see why I use tissue paper so don't be afraid this is a very detailed tutorial you'll see the reason why I use tissue okay and then I have um, hot comb. Again, you see why I use the hot comb. Um, pretty much, I have hair straightener, which is from Sona brand. I have um, what else? Hair brush, hair comb, bonding glue. Bonding glue is literally the magic of this hairstyle. Like without bonding glue, you can you can't do anything. And then I have this shaving comb. I don't know if this is exactly what it's called, but the comb has blade inside. And as we go on, I'm going to explain basically the reason why I'm using what and their purpose. Okay. So what I'm just doing right now is that I'm separating the wet of this because for this hairstyle you want to make sure that your weave or whatever extension that you're using is as flat as possible to your skull so you don't want it to look bumpy or anything like that and that's why I'm separating the wet so this stage I'm done separating the wet I repeated that process, that is a separating, separating process of all over the weave. So right now, I'm just moisturizing my hair and I'm about to start braiding the, what's it called now? The underneath braids or the underlay or whatever. So the style I'm using for this braid is called police cap or roundabout or whatever you guys decide to call it but yeah so I'm just going to like braid my hair from the back to the front just basically do like an all-round braid until I have a single strand or a single end left so just stay tuned to see how that goes okay
right now i'm done with the braid and i'm just wrapping this tissue all over the braid i already have and that's before putting on the wig cap so what this means is that i'm going to be wearing the wig cap on top of the tissue so the tissue is going to serve like a barrier between the cap and my natural hair and that is to prevent the bonding glue from reaching my natural hair directly like by the time i start bonding the wig to my hair um the tissue is going to help me to prevent that so i don't get glue on my natural hair i hope that makes sense i'm sure it does At this point, I'm just cutting the, I'm cutting around the edge of the wig cap just because I want it to lay as flat as possible to my head and literally, yeah, just cutting off the excess part of the cap. And then I'm gluing it right now to my scalp. This is the beginning stage of the hair. So you have to glue the cap just to make sure that it stays um, as secure as possible to your scalp you have to glue the cap to your scalp oh it is so hard oh my gosh yeah so that's it and then i'm going to go ahead to start gluing the weave to my scalp I braided the hair from the back to the front in a circular motion. I'm also going to put the weave as close as possible to themselves in a circular motion till I get to the front. So what I've done for, for the back is that I kind of layered it up until the point where it got to the end of my ears or let me say to the tip of my of my ears and then i started in a circular motion just like to the front and yeah so pretty much i just went round the same way i braided so i was done gluing at this point but i needed to close off the little circle that was left in the middle of my hair so what i'm going to do next is that I took a little piece of my weave, I applied the bonding glue on the weft and then I folded it into four. Then I also went ahead to now use my hair straightener to make sure that I dried that up and then to give the bond a very strong hold. After which I combed that then divided into two. I feel like you guys really need to watch this part closely so you can understand what I did. So I separated that in the middle, divided it into two and just sort of created like a little bit of a closure if that makes sense. So that was what I applied in that middle part to close it off. But yeah, like I said, please watch this section or this part closely so you can get the gist of it. And as you can see, I flattened that part out again with my hair straightener before i went ahead to apply the bonding glue and then finished off by putting it or using it to cover that small hole that was left finally this is the part that gets really interesting in this vlog part we've all been waiting for i was done gluing and doing all that razz matters so I was just coming it out at this point just to make sure that I don't have any glue on the weave you know yeah all that good stuff before we go ahead into cutting and if I tell you that at this point guys I was so tired oh my god like but I needed to take an apple break because I've not eaten anything all day so let's jump right into cutting like the braid and the gluing of the weave to my scalp or to the cap you also have to start cutting from the back that is how to layer your pixie cut everything has to start from the back you work your way from the back 
upward so um for this i cut with scissors and then i also shave with that shaving comb that i showed you guys in the beginning so yeah repeat the process cut with scissors shave till it takes the form or the shape that you want and yeah again just keep repeating the process until you get your desired results so that's pretty much it for this video really um i was really just freestyling i didn't have anything particular in front also for the fact that i was very tired i did everything all by myself filming stopping to cut to check in the mirror and if you guys can already tell i hardly look into the mirror when i'm making my hair by myself because i feel like the mirror gives me some sort of inverted view which confuses me so i'll rather just follow my instincts and then trace things down with my hands so yeah that's just it for this video guys cut um yeah i made a couple of mistakes but again this is diy i wasn't going for perfection i just wanted it to look nice cut shave straighten out your hair straightener comb it out with the hair comb just to make sure that everything is nicely laid flat and so quickly mention that this shaving comb is as good as you're using a manual clipper because what it does is it helps you to flatten out the weave just to make sure that you have that very flat seamless cut on your scalp so pretty much your weave or the hair at the end of the day comes out looking like your scalp like you're just wearing it on your head right and then um for this hair again just as if you're in the barbing salon or you're using a clipper you have to wear like an apron or an overall all over your body because i promise you you're going to get hair all over your body and you don't want that irritating your skin round off this tutorial please i'm going to advise you do not go near a hot comb if you don't know how to work your way around it because it is very possible for you to burn yourself burn your face burn your skin and it doesn't give a nice outcome i promise you so please if you're not a professional if you don't really know how to handle this don't use a hot comb so yeah thanks guys for watching i hope you enjoyed this tutorial please let me know if you did leave me comments below thumbs up subscribe share all that good stuff you know how we do it watch me transform into the fine girl that i am Thank you.